What's up guys? I know it's been a little bit since I put out a video, but I just wanted to show you a little bit of what I've gotten done so far. As you can see, I've gotten the wood floor put in and they only had two boxes available. So, which got me to about here, which is perfect because um, I'm going to build the couch and the pull out bed right here, which is going to come out here anyways. So you won't be able to see it, but I got this whole wall back here um, framed in. I had a friend help me do that and we put in the antique window here that comes from uh, Boca Grande off of a late 1800s house that was out there. So I got that installed. I got the um, AC unit put in and then I, after he did that for me, then I finished the insulation and put up all the rest of the pallet wood and all that and finished the um, electrical, as you can see down there. I still have to do the bottom part there. Uh, I ran out of wood, um, but I finally picked up some more. Um, so basically that's all done. I just have to finish the trim going along all the edges and uh, around the window and uh, just tighten up little things like that. And then I'm gonna put the baseboards in down around the bottom and um, trim here. I gotta finish putting this in. I got this piece all traced out and everything to fill that back in there. And, oh, and then also the ceiling. This is beadboard, uh, which I got that put in there. And then I took all these pallet wood and I cut them in half and I used these as trim to cover up all the seams um, where the beadboard met. And I think it turned out really nice. I'm really happy with it, the way it looks. So we got that and of course my table that I made before, which you can see in a previous video, which I can't put it down because I don't have two free hands. And this cool little thing my daughter found for me at the thrift store. I thought it was awesome. I hung it in here. And then of course the wet bath in here, which has just became a huge storage area for all my crap. I haven't even begun to start doing anything in there, but so that's mainly what I've gotten done so far. And um, now I'm going to start on the exterior siding. I got some more of the pallet wood from um, the last guy that I got it from. He delivered it to me the other day. So now I'm gonna get started. Me and Bentley. Me and Bentley. I'm gonna get started putting the siding on. Are you a good boy? Yes, he's a good boy. I love you, Banners. Don't jump, that's far. Banners. And of course I got Tinky Belt too. Hi, Tinky. Hi, baby. You gonna help me? Yeah, you're a pretty girl. You're a pretty girl. try to use screws to put these up in hopes that I don't split the wood so we'll see how this goes So good. Let me finish 
that one off of the impact. <laughs> So I was able to get this far up to here on this side and all this done and that's about it because both of my batteries died. So I got them charging right now and uh, most likely they'll be done closer to the end of the day. It's already past five so I will have to continue tomorrow. One of the mistakes that I made that you need to keep in mind when you're doing this, if you happen to do this, is that the first three reams that I did, I was putting all the seams together, which after I think I got like four of them up there and I realized that you can't do that. You have to put them in like you're doing a wood floor and stagger them so that when it rains, um, the water won't fall down all in the seams all the way down. Um, so I had to take them probably up to here, all the way back off and then stagger them differently so that the seams are all in different spots so that's one thing to keep in mind but other than that mishap i think i like how it's turning out very rustic oh dear something just fell but anyways very rustic very organic looking and i love that so i'll catch you guys on the flip side Bye.